Hello there, how are you doing today? This is Yikao Joe, welcoming you to this very, very wonderful video today. Um, I want to I want to congratulate and really really celebrate those of you who are new subscribers thumbs up to you and if you've not yet subscribed I know you enjoy these videos make sure that you hit the subscribe button we are trusting God believing for 2,000 subscribers this year also make sure you like the videos when you like the video YouTube algorithm picks it and keeps on spreading it further so you are helping us to reach more people when you like so just hit the like even before you go on in the video hit the like right now remember to comment and remember to share this video let's get into this i have called this open the valve open the valve see your life is like a tube your life is like a valve and that valve that conveys water from one point to the other that's how your life is and um, I want you to know that the, 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 your prayers, it's not a problem for God to answer your prayers. But the problem is that many of us do not understand that when God wants to bless us, the blessings are first of all in form of spiritual blessings. What do I mean by spiritual blessings? These blessings that God first of all blesses us with are first in the realm of the spirit. Our spirit man is in touch with them. But the challenge is, how do I convey these blessings from the realm of the spirit to the realm of the natural? God's word says in Romans chapter 8, verses 6 and 7, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. In other words, your mind has a lot to play with, to, to play, a part to play with whether you enjoy the life and peace of God or whether you attract the death which is the manifestation of all that Satan has to offer on the face of this earth. Now, listen. Look at this. I wish, I hope you can see it. This is like a tube. And there's this side of the tube is your spirit. On this side of the tube is your body. And in the middle is your mind. All of God's blessings for you, all the things you need are first of all in the realm of the spirit on this side. All right. But how do I get them to move over to my physical life on the where I can contact them and enjoy them with my five scar senses? Where I can spend the money, I can get my new car, I can have the healing in my body, I can have a mind that is peaceful. How do I get these blessings, spiritual blessings? Ephesians 1 3 says. Blessed be God, our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. How do I get those spiritual blessings to become physical enjoyment? It has to pass through this tube. But in the middle is a valve or a tap. That is your mind. If your mind is not renewed, then your mind, the tap is closed and it's blocking the flow of the spiritual blessings to the physical end here. So, Many of us keep on wondering, why is it I'm, I'm serving God, I'm doing all the right things, why am I not getting the results? I'm praying, I'm fasting. Is your mind being renewed? The more you renew your mind with the word of God and you change your thinking, you change your views to comply and to line up with the plan and the purpose and the ideals and the values of the word of God, the more you are opening the tap, the valve, so that more of the blessings can pass from this side over to this side. You must understand that it's based upon Romans chapter 8, verses 6 and 7. If you are carnally minded, then the, your mind is locked up, the, the, the tap is shut, the spiritual blessings cannot convert into physical blessings for you. All you will have if you are carnally minded and your mind is not renewed is death of this world. Death is a broad word that includes everything that Satan brought to mankind when man sinned in, Rome, in, in Genesis chapter 3, the Garden of Eden. The law of sin and death. The law of sin that produces death is where sickness, poverty, lack, uh, all the things that are bad come from. 
But when to be to be spiritually minded, to think in line with the spirit of God, to think in line with the spiritual, the word of God is spirit and life, to think in line with the word of God, to be spiritually minded, your mind renewed to spiritual things is life and peace. It will attract life and peace. It will attract health to your body. It will attract peace of mind to your mind. It will attract wealth and finances and prosperity to your pocket and your bank account. It will attract long life to you. It will attract favor and open doors to you. So your your mind has a large part to play. It's not just praying alone that will get it done. Your mind needs to be renewed. The tap, the valve has to be opened. So what are you doing about renewing your mind? That's the big question. All right. I want you to like this video, share this video. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe right now. Until I see you in my next video, where I will continue again about the things of the mind. Keep renewing your mind with the word of God and keep the valve open. Peace.